Annaberger is a German company renowned as one of the leading manufacturers of highly specialized agricultural equipment and vehicles in Europe. Focused on developing new transport solutions, they created a prototype, presented during the 2015 Agritechnica Agricultural Fair, aimed at enabling the access of tire trailers to fields with sensitive terrain conditions. Known as Unicrawler, it essentially consists of a two-track platform with access ramps onto which the load trailers are mounted. This platform provides a transport area of 5.6 meters in width and 2 meters in length, allowing for loading trailers with two to three axles, as well as other heavy implements. In its transport mode, it can be folded to a width of just 2.4 meters and can be moved at a maximum speed of 25 kilometers per hour. Once in position, the unit being transported simply activates its braking mechanisms, and with its own weight, it remains stable on the platform, without needing any special anchoring. Similarly, the tractor pulling the trailer attaches to the platform, enabling it to move through the field with its rubber tracks, exerting low compaction. ZF is a Germany-based company specialized in developing systems and technological solutions to enhance transportation efficiency across a range of vehicles, from private cars to commercial units and heavy-duty trucks. Their focus has materialized in the development of a modular system that adds electric capabilities to trailers with the aim of assisting trucks during transportation. This innovation, known as e-trailer, and designed by their subsidiary Wabco, involves installing an electric motor on one of the trailer's axles, enabling a virtually hybrid operation. When the truck brakes or decelerates, the electric motor on the trailer generates electricity, which is then stored for use during acceleration. A significant advantage is that this electric motor improves the traction of the unit, leading to better performance on slippery surfaces or steep inclines. Moreover, it provides quicker acceleration during startup due to the additional torque from the electric motor. This translates to fuel savings, reduced noise, and less wear on brake systems. In technical terms, ZF and Wabco's e-trailer solution promises a fuel saving of 20% on short trips and 10% on long journeys. Additionally, the e-trailer incorporates various control and resource management systems, such as electronic power controls and thermal management, which significantly contribute to extending the lifespan of both the trailer and the truck. Row Motors is a New Zealand company with over 70 years of experience in rescue and recovery services, as well as the transportation of heavy and oversized loads. Their main focus is on ports like Taranga, where they handle massive objects such as lighting structures or concrete beams. In contrast to common trailers with assisted electronic steering, Rose Motors employs a distinctive equipment similar to Boeing's previously proposed solution known as the steering car. This involves a type of truck with an extremely low structure that allows loads to pass over it. Not only does it retain the appearance of a Western Star Truck, but it also maintains its fifth wheel, which is used to attach the tools and trailers necessary for supporting the loads. While its unique design is what sets it apart, another crucial aspect 
is that this unit is entirely motorized and thus autonomous. This significantly aids in coupling tasks and enhances assistance in complex maneuvers or tight curves during transportation. While this solution has favorable aspects, such as its unique design and autonomy in maneuvering, the placement of its cabin can be inconvenient at times due to the minimal visibility it offers, even though it's primarily for safety reasons. Additionally, the small driving space is not particularly comfortable or ergonomic. Nonetheless, these factors do not diminish the fundamental role this truck plays in these special transports. Denison is a British manufacturer of high-quality trailers, highly specialized in meeting and even exceeding the specific needs of the most demanding operators. Striving to offer greater versatility while maintaining efficiency during container transports, they devised a solution called Megaliner that can adapt to various loading configurations. Offering 50% more load capacity compared to similar structures, the Megaliner allows for a loading configuration of up to three 20-foot containers, or a combination of one 20-foot container and one 40-foot container among others, towed as if it were a double trailer. This results in a length of up to 25.4 meters, yet it manages to achieve a turning radius of only 12.5 meters, allowing it to maneuver through narrow roads or tight spaces. Its versatility also lies in the possibility of attaching other types of containers or superstructures to suit specific needs, from refrigerated boxes or curtain-sided containers to fixed structures for special purposes. Additionally to loading efficiency, this type of transport significantly contributes to reducing carbon dioxide emissions by up to 25%, as well as decreasing operating costs by 30%. BIS is one of the most globally recognized companies in the Australian mining sector for its excellence and innovation. As is common, the company specializes in road train implementations for heavy mining transportation, prompting them to innovate in this practice. To achieve this, they developed a twin-engine unit known as the Dual Power Road Train. This concept involves adding an intermediate trailer equipped with an additional engine that assists the main tractor unit in challenging towing tasks. This auxiliary engine allows for the transportation of payloads of up to 500 tons per trip without power loss, resulting in cost and time savings in transporting materials from mines to processing plants. Furthermore, this design enables the simultaneous transportation of up to four high-capacity trailers without the need for another truck. However, due to their large size configurations, these road trains are limited to operating only on private roads or specifically designed routes, as their passage on public roads could cause significant damage to infrastructure. It's important to note that the additional engine is integrated into the intermediate trailer, eliminating the need for significant additional space as an extra motorized vehicle would require. Nevertheless, this configuration also has its limitations in terms of power, as its primary function is to provide support to the main tractor unit. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it and found it valuable. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. We can't wait to see you in the next one.